that again here. It's just another week in the Ivy League. Jamie Zussi on senior day, the senior from Chester, New Jersey, going against Matthew Gunty. Gunty has won 55% of his faceoffs this season. Zussi just under 52%. And the Quakers will possess first. Zussi off to a good start there. That is a, uh, we always love to watch the faceoffs. I love to keep it, keep stats on that as we go through these games. And, you know, Zussi is uh, minus seven on turnover. So that's an area that they need to get better at. Early man up opportunity here for Penn. Penn has been the best in the Ivy League at 48% in man up opportunities. Sam Hanley at the point dishes low and a shot scored. Dylan Gergar with his 22nd goal to lead the team puts Penn in front 1-0. Sam Hanley deserves a lot of attention and when you're man down and you've got two guys that are worried about him on the top playing the poor Penn, the freshman who has been playing great as of late, had a goal against Princeton, three shots, didn't play against Yale, but is back out there early for the Penn offense. Hanley feeds inside. Luke. Now Quakers reset, go ahead. And Luke DiGiacobbi on taking a good shot and a goal. Goes low and finds the back of the net. DiGiacobbi makes it a 2-0 lead for Penn. Yeah, DiGiacobbi, a former uh, four-star recruit. I believe that's his first of the year. That was really the first quality look that Brown has had today. And we're, you know, 10 minutes into this game. Shot from distance, seen and stopped by Birkinshaw. Rebound still just outside the crease. A shot and a big save made by Birkinshaw. Shot low, blocked off. Gergar certainly has the green light to shoot for Penn. Ball still on the ground. Physical battle for it, won by Brown. This Brown team likes to hit. They they are a physical team and they will and they will take the body to clear to clear out and give their teammate a chance to get to the ball. Yeboa Cody trying to do it all himself. And now an interference call on Brown will award it to Penn. Very good body check. Here's James Shipley, number 37. His brother Will is the starting running back for Clemson. Himself is a two-time All-American in football. Shoots that one just wide. Saved, and it'll be knocked out to the near side here. Yeah, that was a great matchup with number three, um, George Pike. Whoa, what a rip by Hanley. Let's it fly. A missile. Top corner, and it's 3 nothing Penn. Sam Hanley, right-handed, high to high. High to high is not a great shot. Again, the goalie stick is already up, but when you can power it that fast, the goalie's not going to be able to get to it. And that is a classic Sam Hanley goal. Are, uh, are, are able to get get out and play and we need more teams out there you know Denver is as far west as division one the cross goes we need more teams out west we need the Pac-12 to get now it's scooped up and controlled by Penn inside the last minute yeah, Penn, Penn is Penn is here to play today that is a great example right there of, of Penn Ruben scores a great example of Penn Winning a ground ball, a 50-50 ball, they win that, and look what happens. They get Ruben open with time and space, and again, uh, that is a big goal for Penn, and that could have gone the other way if Brown had picked it up, but instead, you know, those those goals in the last minute of a quarter, Joe, you know, it doesn't count. Can't crack this defense. They're frustrated. Gergar, crease roll. Nice look for Gergar. Left his man in the dust, and his second of the game with one second left. He's making a habit out of this. Did it in the game winner against Villanova. A goal with a second left in regulation. This time it's the first quarter for Dylan Gergar. Gergar is not known as a Dodger. You know, he's a little. And now this one is won by Gunty. Cook diving down the right wing and scores. Darian Cook, his 21st of the year, and that gets Brown on the board here. The Brown Bears. A shot and a score. Eighth man up goal of the year for Devin McLean, his 28th overall, and just like that, it's 5-2. to two. Yeah, that's a big goal for Brown on a lot of, on a lot of uh, levels here. They 
close the gap to three goals. Close in on the on the pen lead. Hustling for balls. They're getting 50-50 balls that they weren't getting in the first quarter. I mean, this is like, honestly, it's early on, but it feels like night and day. A shot and a score. High to low. And the rip for Augevin is 16th of the year. The grad student makes it 5-3. to three. three straight goals for Brown. Penn was dominant in the first quarter, won the first quarter five to nothing, and Brown has been dominant here in the second quarter, and they're up three nothing. Gergar finds Hanley with space and a save made. There's that high to high that you were talking about, and Terry Alt able to see that. That looks to me like it's about three or four yards too far outside for Sam Hanley. Like that just gives Connor Terrio that much more time to react to it, and especially when it's high to high. Turnover forced here by B.J. Farrar. Look at that pass. Ruben scores! Beautiful feed from Farrar, absolutely on the money. And Ruben finds the top corner. B.J. Farrar is an offensive threat. You know, with, with his athleticism, his stick skills, we've got a flag down as well. King trying to lose his man. Nice look inside, a low shot and a score. Antonelli able to spin that one into the back of the net for his 18th of the year. And now it's a 6-4 lead. Timeout called on the field. 7.23 left. You know, let, let's give the credit at the faceoff X. Brown is winning faceoffs here in the second quarter, 4-1. to one. So I think that has helped them a lot as well, just to get the extra possessions. And we've got these 50-50 balls, which are going to determine the winner of this game. Like, look at this scrum. Who's going to come up with it? Still not worked out, and it's Brown's ball. A shot and a score. Yaboa Cody, his sixth of the year, makes it a one-goal game. And there you go. You were just talking about competing for that faceoff. Brown not giving up. And now it's 6-5. Yeah, as a lacrosse fan, you gotta love this. Like, but Brown looked like they were left for dead at 5 0 Man up shift right there for, for Penn. That's what I was just gonna say. Very non characteristic for them to have such little movement there in their man up. King goes across the formation. A shot and a score. No doubt about that one. That's a tie game. And Reed Machete finds the back of the cage. Two point game for Machete. The communication between Griffin King, who gets the assist, and Ryan Augevin, who was up, up top at the point, he, King looked at Augevin to pass with the graduate student shooting there. That's a great look. And that one goes upstairs. No mistake made there for Augevin. Or Machete, rather. Reed Machete comes up with his second goal of the game, third point, and he gives Brown their first lead at 7-6. Second in a row for Machete, right? He had the, the last one on the right wing, uh, the left wing as well. So defense by, by Brennan Lavelle. Cook still was able to get a pretty good shot off, just missed the cage. But with nobody behind, Penn gets the ball. Bond looking for help. Farrar, open net and a score. What a find by Blake. The assist. Coast to coast distance and B.J. Farrar on senior day scores second point of the day. I don't know if that was a pass to Farrar or if Blake was shooting. because <laughs> Might have intercepted. Yeah, because Brown was in a 10-man <laughs> ride there. Two for Brown who went down in a heap with what looked like to be a pretty serious right knee injury is running around and is on the field. So that's, that's huge news for Brown that he's back in there. Saved by Birkinshaw, the rebound and a score. King finds the back of the net and Brown back in front at 8-7. King just being opportunistic, you know, real good save by Birkinshaw, but he allows a rebound. Not a great save because he didn't keep possession, made a good save, but when you leave a ball out there, that's a free ball for anybody to grab. King right there. Ruben trying to find space to let that one go. Shipley rolls in. Bedard sets up Hanley. Such a big body, Sam Hanley. And a nice sweeping score for Gergar. The feed from Hanley, that connection has been so lethal. Gergar has the hat trick, and it's 8-8.
Joe, you you know, we were watching warm-ups before the game started, and Gergar must have hit three or four of shots just like that in a row. I mean, he, he that body position in his feet, that makes a, that's a tough shot. Kelly finds Grell. McLean surveying his options. Nolan Rockefeller comes back up to the point. Controlled by Kelly, 26 seconds on the shot clock. Now we're seeing some of that lockdown Penn D again that we saw in the first quarter. Lavelle runs his way through a screen, a shot and a score. McLean goes upstairs with the high cheddar and it's 9-8. Brown reclaims the lead, 5.41 to go in the third quarter. Penn looking for the equalizer when we come back to Philadelphia. George Grell starts things here. Ryan Augevin out there and Brown not lacking for options when it comes to people to finish this off, but Penn's defense facing their stiffest test so far. A shot, Augevin misses wide. Yeah, not a bad look, especially with the help behind to, to win possession. Boy, Antonelli looks like he's got some little bit of space there in that crease. They'd love to get it to him. A shot and a score. That one snuck by. Birkinshaw thought he had it, but that one just snuck by, and it's a 10-8 lead for Brown. That was Mr. Man up for Brown, right, McLean? If it was, that's McLean's ninth day tone setting kind of shot. Absolutely, it's a great take. You got a man behind to get the ball, uh, to win the ball and keep possession going. And you know, he, I feel like we could patent that bull dodge of his where he gets in close to his defender and uses his body and his space to just push him away. And create the space for him to shoot. Shipley, what a move. Speaking of a dodge, he spins, fakes the roll and then goes low. And it's a one goal game once again. James Shipley, I mean, the development of his game, you know, he's, when he came, he was a, a really good athlete that played lacrosse, and he has really turned into a lacrosse player. Falls to Penn's five, and turnovers. Penn with three, Brown with zero. So Brown with extra possessions because they're winning the ground balls and they're not turning the ball over, and that's the difference in this game right now. A bounce shot and a score with the man up opportunity and doubling the lead as well is Ryan Augevin, his second goal of the afternoon. Ryan Augevin was just smart, a smart lacrosse play. Got the ball with some space. As the defender is running towards him, he fakes him, runs past him, and has a wide open, wide open goal to deal with because the goal, make the goalie thinking he was going low. And he loves to shoot high. I mean, last week against Yale, it's a great pass. And a score. They needed it in a big way as well. And that's another assisted goal for Penn. Yeah, Penn leads the Ivy League in assisted goals, and that was a great one right there, and it gets Gabe Fury on the board, which is important. They need production from him. They need production from other midfielders than Sam Hanley and James. He needed to dodge there. Three seconds left. Gergar has to go off the pipe, it looked like. Would have been a reset if Penn had gotten possession, but instead... Nice feed and a kick save made by Birkinshaw again. Huge stop by. And Penn returns the favor. Gergar, Hanley, back down low. This Brown defense is flying around. That's Hanley. A, that shot was blocked right. Yeah, Yaboa Cody blocked that shot with his stick right out of Hanley's stick. Dish is wide, a and shot and a score. Huge goal there for Brown. Devin McLean, his fourth of the afternoon. And it's a two goal lead once again. Timeout. 2.38 left in regulation. What a massive goal for Devin McLean. Ruben with three seconds. Fires across, misses, and Brown comes up with the win. 12 10 over Penn. What, what an effort. I mean, that is a gut check win for this Brown program. They are 
back in the middle of this Ivy League 